Yes, I mean, this is the point about Article Three of the Constitution. It's very short. It requires that there be a US Supreme Court, as a few other provisions, but it leaves to Congress that essential role of administering the court, and Congress has always done so. So to question that authority today is to question 230 years of consistent practice where Congress has legislated regarding the court. To be clear, not to control its decisions. That is clearly off limits. But every other aspect of the court is controlled by Congress from its size to when it meets. Agree. Uh, Mr. Payne, why is it important that the Supreme Court also have an ethics office separate from the individual justices to provide them with advice on how to comply with the ethical obligations and to ensure that this office has the authority to conduct independent fact finding? Uh, the only way that any current ethics rules or future ethics rules will work is if there's a way to enforce these rules and a way for the Supreme Court justices to understand how they apply. So therefore, you need an internal body that can provide the ethics expert advice and also gather facts in the circumstances where there are potential violations that need to be resolved. Ms. Frost, what do you think on that? Yes, I, I would agree with uh, uh, Mr. Payne's analysis there, and I think that one of the problems we've been having today is that so many of these issues get dug up by investigative journalists and splashed across the news in ways that does damage to the court. If they had a more systematic method of adopting or approaching these problems, we could avoid this. 